This home in Toronto's Summerhill neighbourhood sold for $5 million in 2022. It was bought by fertility doctor Arnold Mahasen and his entrepreneur wife, Roxanne Earle, who reality TV viewers may recognize from the Real Housewives of Toronto. I've been a good wife this year. Earle says the couple want to change the home's steep stairway, but they didn't know as a home with heritage status, they would need city approval before renovating. They were also surprised to learn one of the reasons for the designation was its original owner. We found out that our home was the Caldecott House, which was celebrating somebody who was completely anti-immigration. And so for us, that just didn't sit right with us. The house was built in 1906 for Stapleton Caldecott. He was an international trade expert and a Toronto Board of Trade president. A report prepared for the family by a historian points out that Caldecott held restrictive views on immigration favoring British or Scandinavian immigrants and saw education as a vehicle for assimilation. Okay, well, thanks a lot for, for hearing us here. The couple tried to have the designation repealed. They say it was approved too quickly and a closer look would have revealed Caldecott's views. Stapleton Caldecott would have been appalled by us living in the house he commissioned. The historical record shows he attempted to block people like us ever entering the country. We are new to Summer Hill. I'm a first generation immigrant to Toronto. I'm Sri Lankan. My wife is Pakistani. But the Preservation Board decided to maintain the designation. And I'm not sure we're going to get it right no matter which way we vote on this one. Instead, they voted to remove all references to Caldecott from city documents explaining the House's significance. This member of the board says the connection to Caldecott is just one of many reasons for the property's heritage status. There are three or four other criteria that were met, including contextual uh, and design value. It's a 1906 arts and crafts style house designed by very noted Canadian architect Eden Smith. But that decision isn't sitting well with the family. My issue that I take is that I've done great work in this city and yet I've worked so hard to earn a home like this and yet still I have to be racialized by living in a home that is celebrating something that is so anti what my husband and I are. Earl says the couple will keep fighting to remove the heritage designation. The question goes to City Council for a final vote this month. Ryan Patrick Jones, CBC News, Toronto.